Hey guys, it's Stephanie from Tie-Dye. I'm down in Florida right now, but I wanted to um, show you guys some plants in their natural habitat, and they're actually plants that we sell at the shop also. So just to give you guys an idea of what they'll look like, and you put them under light in your tanks, and they'll be nice and pretty. So here we have two different types of bromeliads. So these ones here, we have purple and green. But then these, we have these bromeliads here that are just the green ones. And typically with the bromeliads, like with the shop that are nice for your geckos, they'll fill up with some water down in here and the animals will drink out of them. There were some actual gnolls on these guys. Somewhere up there's an gnoll running. But when I walked over, I think I scared them all away. All right, so along this trail, we have come across another plant that we sell in the shop. This is uh, mother-in-law's mother tongue, um, also snake plant. So this is another great one, and it looks amazing when it has some sunshine, and you can add it to your tank with some lights, and your animals will love it. There were actually just some more knolls running around on it. Hey, we came across another plant. This is a purple heart. So we sell these in the shop also. I don't think the ones that we have in the shop um, typically have the blooms on them though. So this one was actually really pretty and it spreads. So this would be a nice ground coverage for in any of your reptile tanks. And then you get little flowers that come with it. Over here we have another bromeliad. So these are some bigger bromeliads. They just have the pink tips of them. But actually, I think we have the same exact one in the shop that's the multicolored, like this. All right, guys, we don't sell these trees, but this is probably my most favorite thing on the trail. These trees, look, look how amazing they are. They look so soft and cuddly. See, they're just amazing. Tell Eric we should get some in the store for sale. It'll make me happy. All right, so along this trail, four miles, I've rode down this trail now, we have this succulent here that might be a spineless prickly pear, but it's, um, look how big it is. We do sell um, prickly pears in the shop. Every now and then they come in with our succulents, um, which are good for, you can, take the spines off, feed them to your Euromastics, feed them to your tortoises. They are good food, they are safe to eat. The crazy thing is, is when the leaves fall off, as you can see down at the bottom, they just restart growing again. So you can just have your own plant that keeps growing. Moving down along this line, we have the blue agave, which we do sell these in the shop also. But you can see how tall this gets. It's as tall as me and I'm pretty tall. All right, let's keep moving down along this line here. And we have some more blue agave plants. And you can see this is where they had flowered. This is the flower that shot up. It bloomed and then all this. Almost looks like a tree. Yeah, so this came off of the blue yeah, agave here. Yeah, the flower. It's the flower. And as you can see, look how big this blue agave is. It's really tall. And look, I found some bamboo. We have lucky bamboo in the shop, not this bamboo. And then we have this really tall one back here, which is a, it's just a tall columnar cactus, which we have a variety of different species that we sell in the um, shop. But you can see they just keep growing. They get tall a lot of times, as you can see in this one in the very back, they split off in the back. And then they have multiple cactuses that come off of each <laughs> Here, listen to the sound if I like hit them and they hit each other in the wind. Kind of sounds like a wind chime. Yeah. All right, and then this one here is a type of Dracaena, which we sell um, a few different types of Dracaenas in the store. I'm not 100% sure if we sell this exact species, but we sell some that are very similar. So this one is, you know, it has like a tall stalk underneath. It's very sharp, it stabbed me in the leg. Look, and then we have some snake plant and prickly pear over here all growing together. You see all the snake plant in there the subtropics for sure. And then we have the aloes. 
um, that grow out here naturally. I still think our big, our big mama plant is much hardier looking. But these ones I thought were neat because you can see here, this is where they flowered and they produce like a seed. Looks like an that's orange. That's coming up from there, yeah. Aloe's growing. We have plenty of aloes in the shop. All right, so if you guys can see the colorful orange and green plant in there, that is a croton plant. We sell um, those in the shop. We put a lot of those in our vivariums. They do really well. And then moving on to this one, we have the umbrella plant. We also sell these in the shop also. These guys can actually get pretty big, but these guys are actually nice um, indoor house plants too. So put them in your tanks, put them in your house, all of the above, and also dog urine kills plants. <laughs> All right, and then one last plant to show you guys right now is an air plant, which if you look up here at the top of this tree, or on this tree branch, we have an air plant, which has flowered, that's sticking straight oh, yeah. up out of it. And we do sell air plants in the shop. We have a variety of different types of them. You can attach them to your cork mark or your branches in your tank and they're very low maintenance. All right guys, so I've showed you guys a few different types of plants that we sell in the store, but I've showed you ones in their natural habitat and the way they look. If you have any questions about any of them, you can come into the store, you can ask any of the sales team questions about them or say, hey, I saw this plant, I want one in my tank. We can direct you to where it is. Or if you saw something and we don't happen to have it in, tell Eric, to order it and he'll get it for you.